never do. You're pushing me to give the love that I don't know how to give. You're pushing me to live the life that I wish I never lived. Oh, why are you pushing me? Every day there's always something that you have to say. About my life, you never bother if I'm going left or right. And you never want to know if it's good for me, oh. So I'm going hellwire because of the pressure of my family. Oh, to do the things I said I'll never do. You're pushing me to give the... Baby, hi. How are you doing? Do you want to eat anything? I'm not hungry. Come on, I know you like smoothie and pancakes. Why do parents divorce? Oh, I don't know, sometimes. You know, individual differences. Incompatibility. Um... Incompatibility, really? <laughs> but when they were dating, they didn't know that they weren't compatible. You know, we all pretend a lot during dating, but there is no room for that when they are in the marriage already. But what do you think is my parents' intention to go their separate ways? Man, I have no idea. I thought they were the perfect couple until today. Ah, uh, I was so surprised. Oh, is it me or is... No, 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 baby. It's not on you. Mm. It's on them, not you. They were the one that even brought you into this. And I'm so sorry you're going through that. So we'll be fine, eh? I know that we care less about each other. And, and I think it's high time you moved out of this room. No. You rather move out. You know, this is your food. Eat. And stop beating yourself up. It's not like you even care about my daughter. Oh. <laughs> you that care so much about her. Did you know her whereabouts? Was I not the one who drove all the way to your mother's house just to look for her? Huh? i would repeat myself. Eat your food. Shut your mouth up and stop throwing all these tantrums because it's not going to make me take you back as my wife. Of course, I won't even look at you a second time if you were the only man alive on earth. Oh, please. Just come and take your food away. You should still sleeping or what? Eki! About my life, you never bother if I'm going left or right. And you never want to know. Eki. Eki, where do you want my schooling us? Go see her now. Ah. So sleepy, my baby. Okay, now. Oh, yeah, wait. Let's go and see her. Come on, you see. Let's go. Come on, you can even sleep in peace. How can uh, somebody be sleeping till this time? Look at the time. Eh? Good morning. Good morning. Uh -huh. Go and dress up. We're going. In fact, pack all your things. We are going to your parents' house. But I came here to spend the week. Eh, I don't have time for your question and answer. Just go and do what I have said. But why? Did you hear what I just said? Hurry up! 
It is wrong to... To ask questions when I'm confused. Really? She just said I'm going back to my parents' house. Why? Yes, why? Ichala, you ask too much questions. Just follow whatever she tells you to do and follow her plans. Plans? <laughs> plans that has nothing to do with me, right? No. You know that every decision we make here is for your sake, huh, baby? Okay. So you knew I was leaving this house today? No. I'm as surprised as you are. She didn't even tell me anything. Oh, yeah, now freshen up. Smile for me, huh? Let's go. Grandma, she's upset too. Mm -hmm. And as usual, asking questions. But what is this all about? What is what all about? I don't want to wait here for them to come and feed me with their lights. It's obvious they don't want to be together again. So I need to go there. Face them one on one. Yeah, I noticed. If not, Uncle Pascal would have rushed down here yesterday. But no, he relaxed. So I don't want them to come and feed me. I'm going there. Okama, what if they are coming here? Would well, they already on their way? Mm, that is their business. I'm on my way to their house. It's okay. Let me change my clothes and come with you. Eh? Today is Saturday. Or you have exams, so or have you forgotten? That's true. Don't worry, we'll be fine. It's okay, Grandma. Let me go and bait and get ready for school. It's okay, dear. Please, hurry her up. Ichala! I wish we can take love as it is. If I love you and you love me, I know nobody could have push, push me. Oh, to do the things I said I'll never do. You're pushing me. To give the love that I don't know how to give. You're pushing me. To live the life that I wish I never lived, no. So, you hate my lineage. That means you hate my daughter, right? <laughs> oh, you think my precious Ichala is yours? <laughs> what? No, you didn't just say that. What do you mean by that? And I'm talking to you, what do you mean by that? Why is the door locked? Why? Well, for a woman like you, you might have locked it and now you're pretending not to know anything about it. You know, you're too crafty for my liking. I'll use the back door. Me too. Because of the pressure of my family. Oh, to do the things I said I'll never do. You're pushing me. To give the love that I don't know how to give. You're pushing me. To live the life that I wish I never lived. Oh. This is bad. How did Chala do this to us? Fine, she's aware of the divorce proceedings. She don't warrant her to treat us this way. Does she want to kill us? Oh, please, stop lamenting. You are the principal reason why this is happening. And you're also the reason. In fact, you're the main reason this is happening. How? Are you not the one asking for a divorce? Are you not the one making me to ask for a divorce? It's obvious you don't have sense. Oh, sense man! Come and rescue us now. You know your sense is too much. Nonsense.
Oh God, they call me. You. Yes, sir. Uh, sir, I went to the market, sir, but I'm on my way back, sir. Um, I think so, sir. Okay, sir. I'll say this if you never lock me outside, do. Hm. Uh, please, driver, take your left. Hello? Yes, 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 I'm on my way. Just find a way to delay them. Uh, give them some refreshment or something. I'll be there shortly. All right. Yeah, thank you. Bye. Come on, woman, why are you harassing oh, me? Oh, please. Um, hi, hello. Uh, no, I'm not feeling fine. Can you just, like, go and come back? <laughs> Hi! I have a headache, so uh, my doctor is around. He's, he's treating me. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you. All right. You lie too and much. And you poke nose too much! Tell me, what's your reason for lying? Why? Huh? You know what? I think I've had enough of your shenanigans. Sign the divorce papers, man. Sign it and let me live your damn life. Huh? Hey! Oh, guys, still around. My love is still around. <laughs> By this time, I hope it's not what I'm thinking. <laughs> Might be that. Kaya is the go matter. I will not say anything. Let me face my own work. Oh, Toso, do I Friday, I'll find out. Or about 2.3! <laughs> you have landed, like Orlando. Come, oh, we yeah. have there's something I want to discuss with you. You don't see your girl and madam today. I never see them. Hey, what thing they happen inside the house? Why they ask me that kind of question? Are you are supposed to they ask that kind of question? You ain't they ask that. No, you, 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 no come here, rats. My office not here. Your office not here. Any information where you come out from here, not you. Why do you always do your body like this? Um, you know, you never, you never reach like that. Eh? <laughs> Whatever you do, eh? I had any point again. Oh, they ask me that kind of thing. I know they. You know they hear English. You too harsh. I beg they go. Carry on, they go. Now mm. what? Mm. Damn it, two point two. <laughs> Full option. Hey, hey. Come on. What's that thing? You won't snitch on me. No, never. I'm not a snitch. What will I do to you if you want? I can beat you. <laughs> I can't beat you. Uh -uh. We fight every day now. Uh, then you can kill me. Kill you and go to jail. Uh -uh. No, now. Just don't tell anybody. Okay, well. Uh, no, no, no. Yeah. Yeah.
So how is school? School is fine. Hi, I'm Tiki. Hi. I'm fine. My God. Uh -uh. Hmm, that aroma. What are you guys cooking? <laughs> Which aroma? Just take your bag and go upstairs and freshen <laughs> up. When you come down, we'll talk about what we are cooking. Grandma, you are striking deals with me. Yeah, but you like it now, don't you? Mm -hmm. All right. What's up for you? Okay. Did she call you? No, oh, Grandma. She didn't know she was coming. She didn't call me. I don't know. Ha! I have to call her parents to find out why. Go and get my phone. I know nobody good at push pushing me. Oh, to do the things I said I'll never do. You're pushing me to give the love that I don't know how to give. You're pushing me to live the life. I wish I never there is trouble. You allowed this girl to come all the way here all by herself. What is wrong with you and Pascal? Whatever it is, provoke this girl obviously to Ma, the point. Your son refused to sign the divorce papers. Divorce? You are leaving Pascal. How long have you two been up to this? About six months now. It's not entirely my fault. He also doesn't want me anymore. And I'm realizing it now. To live the life that I wish I never lived, oh. Why are you pushing me? Every day there's always something that you have to say about my life. You never bother if I'm going... Mama, we didn't want a third party. I don't want pity. I don't want anyone to encourage me to stay or leave Pascal. I want the decision to be entirely mine. 100% mine. I don't want to blame anyone for my failed marriage. Baby. I know you're here for this. Give that just one to Can you? Mm? Leave my way. No. I'm not going to allow you subject my littleness to this emotional torture. Frokunum should never be encouraged. So if for any reason you're leaving, then don't rub it on her face. Madam. Ichala is my daughter, and I want to speak to her right now. Oh, you forgot it. She's my niece. And I'm not going to allow you to put her in any form of emotional blackmail. Eh, no. Leave my house now. Ma? I want to see you and Pascal leave my house. Oh, yeah? Go and bring your husband. I know nobody go to push, push me. Oh, to do the things I said I'll never do. You're pushing me. To do the things I said I'll never do You're pushing me To give the love that I don't know how to give You're pushing me To live the life that I wish I never lived Oh, why are you pushing me? Every day there's always something that you have to say about my life, you never bother if I'm going left or right. And you never want to know if it's good for me, oh. So I'm going hellwire because of the pressure of my family. Oh, to do the things. 
things I said I'll never do. You're pushing me to give the love that I don't know how to give. You're pushing me to live the life that I wish I never lived. Did you see her? She's at your mother's place. Thick. She sends me out and asks me to come back with you. Okay. But did you speak to each other? Is she all right? Eki did not allow me to speak to my daughter, and it's all your fault. Excuse you? My fault? How is it my fault? It's all your fault. All your fault. Welcome, ma. <laughs> Look, I'm not in the mood. Please. Please. Don't worry. Just bring her food. I'll serve it to her. Baby, hi. How are you doing? Do you want to eat anything? I'm not hungry. Come on. I know you like smoothie and pancakes. Why do parents divorce? Oh, I don't know. Sometimes, you know, individual differences, incompatibility. Um... Incompatibility, really? <laughs> but when they were dating, they didn't know that they weren't compatible. You know, we all pretend a lot during dating, but there is no room for that when they're in the marriage already. <sighs> But what do you think is my parents' intention to go their separate ways? Man, I have no idea. I thought they were the perfect couple until today. Ah, uh, I was so surprised. Oh, is it me or is... No, 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 baby. It's not on you. Mm. It's on them, not you. They were the one that even brought you into this. And I'm so sorry you're going through that. So we'll be fine, eh? I know that we care less about each other. And, and I think it's high time you moved out of this room. No. You rather move out. You know, this is your food. Eat. And stop beating yourself up. It's not like you even care about my daughter. Oh. <laughs> you that care so much about her. Did you know her whereabouts? Was I not the one who drove all the way to your mother's house just to look for her? Huh? I would repeat myself. Eat your food. Shut your mouth up and stop throwing all these tantrums because it's not going to make me take you back as my wife. Of course, I won't even look at you a second time if you were the only man alive on earth. Oh, please. Just come and take your food away. You should still sleeping or what? Eki! About my life, you never bother if I'm going left or right. And you never want to know. Eki. Eki, where do you want to get my schooling off? Go and see her now. Ah. So sleepy, my babe. Okay, now. Oh, yeah, wait. Let's go and see her. Come on, you see. Let's go. Come on, you can come on, sleep in peace. How can uh, somebody be sleeping till this time? Look at the time. Eh? Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Uh -huh. 
Inshallah. Go and dress up. We're going. In fact, pack all your things. We are going to your parents' house. But I came here to spend the week. Eh, I don't have time for your question and answer. Just go and do what I have said. But why? Did you hear what I just said? Hurry up! It is wrong to... To ask questions when I'm confused. Really? She just said I'm going back to my parents' house. Why? Yes, why? Ichala, you ask too much questions. Just follow whatever she tells you to do and follow her plans. Plans? <laughs> plans that has nothing to do with me, right? No. You know that every decision we make here is for your sake, huh, baby? Okay. So you knew I was leaving this house today? No. I'm as surprised as you are. She didn't even tell me anything. Oh, yeah, now freshen up. Smile for me, huh? Let's go. Grandma, she's upset too. Mm -hmm. And as usual, asking questions. But what is this all about? What is what all about? I don't want to wait here for them to come and feed me with their lights. It's obvious they don't want to be together again. Mm. So I need to go there. Face them one on one. Yeah, I noticed. If not, Uncle Pascal would have rushed down here yesterday. But no, he relaxed. So I don't want them to come and feed me. I'm going there. Okama, what if they are coming here? Would well, they are already on their way? Mm, that is their business. I'm on my way to their house. It's okay. Let me change my clothes and come with you. Eh? Today is Saturday. Or you have exams, so or have you forgotten? That's true. Don't worry, we'll be fine. It's okay, Grandma. Let me go and bait and get ready for school. It's okay, dear. Please, hurry her up. Ichala! See, this one is still sleeping and snoring. I don't have to go with you, right? Are you joking? Are you not the one who told me that she said that we should come together? If I go alone, it will be obvious that we are fighting, right? Are we not fighting? Huh? Yes. But let's just go there and pretend like everything is all right so we can get our daughter I'll continue and... continue pretending. Never. Just get ready first. Good morning, Dad. Good morning, Mom. Mama, I'll be in my room. Okay, my dear. We were actually coming to you and... Okay, 
Thank you very much. Uh -huh. So, what do you have here? I have stew mac. Okay. Oh, so what will my granddaughter eat now? Mm, I think rice. No problem. I will prepare it myself. I'm coming. All right, ma. So, the both of them are not talking. But they... Yeah. Oh. Does my son hate you, Enobong? No, Mama. It's actually way beyond physical abuse. And you think I am too old to know? It's not about age. It's privacy of information. It's way too deep and we don't want to involve a third party. Pascal. Does she abuse you physically? No, Mama. Just like she said, we intend to keep it between us while we go through the divorce process. See, the best time to live a marriage is when the children are in the ages of two, three, or four years, or maybe when they are adults. The psychological trauma will be minimal. But coming at this age of 15, 15, formation age, ah, God. This is the time the child needs the mother to coach her through life. The time she needs her father to teach her to love and to be loved. The time she needs her father to guide her through life. I hope you both know what you're trying to do. Yes, Mama, we do. We have thought about it thoroughly, but we still want a divorce. What are you saying? Didn't you hear her? Who? What about each other? Well, I will not tell you to stay married if it is not working out. Neither will I tell you to get divorced because a child is involved. A child at puberty age for that matter. It's your life, oh. Do whatever you want to do with it. But remember, the way the child turns out in life is the sole responsibility of their immediate parents. My duty as your mother is just to advise you. It's your life. Go ahead. Do what you want to do. Hi. We didn't have to. I can come down by myself. Or oh, is there a family meeting going no. on? No. So, Grandma is gone? No. She prepared this herself. Oh. Okay. I want you to know that I'm always here for you. You can confide in me. Talk to me about anything. Don't just see me as your maid, but your big sister and your big friend, all right? Okay. Thank you. Bye. Just pack your things and leave this room. Let's start with that. Maybe I'll cope. Well, you have to cope either way. Because if I'm to leave this room, what are we going to tell her? Oh, you are very good at lying, so look for something to tell her. I am never going to lie to my child. But you lied to a woman you walked down the aisle with for years. <laughs> Oga Pascal, don't let me scatter everything for you. Don't even allow me to scatter everything right now. My daughter and I will pack our things and leave your house for you. What am I even saying? You pack your things and leave the house for us. <laughs> Such a joker. Oh. 
Inshallah. I don't like eating alone. With the current situation, you should learn how to eat alone sometimes. That was why I sent Esther to bring the food for you. Okay. What about your son and his wife? You mean your father and your mother? Uh, they went upstairs. So what's the conclusion? They have to settle it, say, husband and wife fight. They have to settle it somehow. So, no more divorce? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> no more divorce. Are you happy now? Mm -hmm. So there's something that you have to say about my life. You never bother. Hey. <laughs> I understand. It's okay. You do? Yes. I don't blame you for anything that happened. And I don't blame anyone either. Life happens. <laughs> My baby's not a big girl. Look, your father and I are still together, okay? I'm sorry for whatever happened and... It's okay, Mom. <laughs> it's okay, I'm so crying. Yeah, I'm fine, I'm fine. It's okay, I'll be fine, all right? All right. I'll see you later. Okay. <laughs> At least she understands. of my family oh to do the things i said i'll never do you're pushing me to give the love that i don't know how to give you're pushing me to live the life that i wish i never lived oh. we used to have a happy home but right now i don't even know what is happening now my father finds comfort sleeping in my room instead of his matrimonial bed. Both of them have made up their minds to divorce, but nobody is talking about me. Nobody wants to consider me. Nobody wants to consider my position, but I won't let this happen. I will do the best I can as a child to make sure this divorce didn't happen. They need to be together to raise me. They need to be together to help me achieve my dreams. They need to be together to build a better home. Every day there's always something that you have to say about my life. You never bother if I'm going left or right. And you never want to know if it's good for me or home. Essay! So I'm going to Essay. Have you been sleeping? Yes, sir. Where's my husband? His car is outside. Did he go out without his car? I'm not sure he went out. I already asked Friday. He said no. Okay. He should be somewhere in the house then. All right. Uh, go in. Prepare something for him. No. Let me ask him what he will eat and I'll let you know. Okay? Okay, ma. And don't go and start sleeping again. Yes, sir. Seems they won't divorce again, no. I wish we can take love as it is. If I love you and you love me, 
I know nobody good at push, pushing me. Oh, to do the things I said I'll never do. Does it mean Ichala prefers her father to me? What? what? He's sleeping. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, tell him I want to see him when he wakes up, okay? All right, Mom. It's always something that you have to say about my life. You never bother if I'm going left or right. And you never want to know if it's good for me. <sighs> hey. Hi, Dad. Um, yeah, who was that? Your wife. She says she wants to see you when you wake up. Okay, I'm, I'm fully awake now. I'll go and see her. Then I don't know how to give her pushing me to live the life that I wish I never lived. Oh, oh so it has gotten to the point where Pascal goes to my daughter's room to sleep whenever we have issues. I will not let this happen. I won't take this from Pascal. Oh, Pascal is trying to turn my daughter Ichala against me. <laughs> I'm taking my daughter away. I'll leave this house with my daughter or I'll make Pascal leave for me. You better don't destroy anything that is mine. It's your life I'm going to destroy before you destroy mine. And now what is it again? What is the problem? What do you think you're doing? Oh, now you're playing the good father that both of us know that you are not. Huh? So stay away from my daughter. Don't turn my daughter against me. But we haven't even had a conversation. I just went in there to rest my head. She walked in, she joined me, and after a while she started reading. We haven't even had any conversation yet. We haven't talked. Darling. Mm. Hi. Mm. Sorry. Mm. I'm tired. So, mm. Grandma, how did you go? How did your exams go? Uh -uh. Grandma, stop now. You two like gossip. Oh. Anyway, I have given them my peace of mind. At least they should both pretend for a while. So each other is grown. Yes, yeah, so when she's an adult, uh, she can take decisions. Uh, you understand? I hope they will pause this divorce till each other is grown. Yes, yeah, so till she's an adult, at least she can make her decision when she's grown. Yes, yeah, so hmm. I hope this decision won't endanger their lives. <laughs> How does that concern me? I beg. Go and get me something cold, like cold, in fact, not cold, chilled water. Mm? Trust me, I'm cold. Mm. Did you cook anything? Yes, I made noodles. Eh? Noodles. You're a fool. With all the food in the house, you will make noodles. Look at you. Tomorrow, in fact, just get me water first. Let me not talk. What should I do to this man? Just look at the way he's snoring. Sorry, what was a mistake? Exactly the reason you should pack your things and leave this room already. 
Well, this is on you, my dear. Find something convincing to tell each other. Then I would leave to another room. But until then, we are roomies. <laughs> treating me so badly. Am I not living according to your will? Did I force myself into this world when it is not your wish? Or are you paying me back with youthful sins of my parents? I'm an innocent 15 years old girl. I have never loved and cherished any woman better than my mother. I have never admired to have a father better than my handsome dad. I am happy to be their daughter. They have been the source of my strength and encouragement. Why would they decide to divorce? Why would they decide to go their separate ways without putting me into consideration? He's here. Look at him. My handsome dad. Hello, my <laughs> Hey, dad. Are you ready? You look suave. You're going to make me blush. <laughs> <laughs> you look good, too. Thank you. Is mom coming? Um... I don't think she's coming. She's still sleeping. Is she all right? Should I go check up on her? Oh, no, 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 never mind. Uh, she'll be fine, okay? So should we go? All right. <laughs> How about your shoes? Oh, they're in the car. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, let's go. Mm -hmm. Madam, who am I? Essay. Ma? Essay. Ma? I thought we agreed that you would start going to church. Yes, ma. But my conscience no good dream. What has conscience got to do with you going to church? My pastor will not be happy I went to another church. But he church. would not know. Madam, no. He sees everything. He will know. Even as we are talking right now? Yes, ma. You don't believe but, madam, I thought you're not going to church today because Oga and Ichala don't go. Excuse you? Ha. They don't go since. Oh, <laughs> uh, yes, I I'll go. Um, second service. <laughs> to give me love that I don't know how to give. You're pushing me. To live the life that I wish I never lived, oh. I hope that you have enough gimmicks to sustain what you've started. I don't know what you're talking about. I simply took my daughter out. She's my daughter too, you know. Don't be too sure. Except you have a credible paternity test. I know you're lying. But you know what? I am going to outsmart you. Yeah, calm down. You started it. How could you tell my daughter that I'm not going to church? Really? Look, stay away from my daughter and I and stop filling her ears with lies, okay? 
if you if you touch me one more time. You never bother if I'm going left or right And you never wanna know if it's good for me oh. so Dad, is everything alright? Hmm? Uh, yeah, um, I'm fine It's just that I remember that we haven't gone for our monthly test <laughs> But do we have to do that every month? Yes I mean, you know the coronavirus is not yet gone entirely. So it is recommended that everyone should go for a test. You know, general body test. All right. Are we going now? Yes, that's if you're ready. And I promise you that after the test, we'll go and grab something to eat. <laughs> Are you taking me out on a date? <laughs> <laughs> well, you can call it something like that. All right, um, let me go get dressed. No, no, you're, you're fine this way. I mean, it's just a father-daughter date. All right, uh, let me just go see. All right, yeah? Get out. Hello, Tina. I'm coming with my daughter now. All right. Hurry up, sweetie. That you have to say about my life. You never bother if I'm going to I've been looking everywhere for you now. Ah, Where yeah. is Ichala and my husband? Did they go out together? Uh, uh, yes, ma. Oh, they yeah. went out together. Yes, ma. Okay. <laughs> Uh, what, what are you doing with the ladder? Hey, madam. Uh, I define my... <laughs> You're always looking for one thing to do. Uh, <laughs> Why do you doubt that she's yours? Her mother and I are going through a divorce. And her mother is making it look like I don't have a right to my daughter. She has reiterated that she's not mine. So I just have to be sure. I understand your fears, but I will let you know once the results are out. All right. Thank you very much, doctor. You're welcome. Where's my daughter? She's with the nurses. Okay. Hi, dear. So you two went out without me. Is that fair? Oh, she's jealous. <laughs> Don't worry, we got you this. Oh, thank you. That took me to get a very sumptuous meal. OK, thank you. <laughs> All right, darling, go inside and freshen up. Right. And prepare for school tomorrow, OK? OK. All right, sweetie. <laughs> Take your food. Take your food. You think you're smart, huh? My lady's doing come here, sweetie. Oh, yeah. So fine. Hi, dear. Hi. I took my daughter shopping. <laughs> Thanks, mom. I appreciate. I told you to not say thank you again. It's my duty to do that, right? I know, but <laughs> still, thanks. Okay, 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 fine. Okay, go in and have your bath, okay? okay. I'll make lunch and I'll let you know. All right. All right? <laughs> Thank you. 
You're such a good actress. Go to hell. Idiot. Is everything all right? Can I sleep here with you? Sure. <laughs> Wait, so he stays up all night? Yeah, you know, the calls and the noise. So I'm thinking he should just move to the other room. Mm. When he finishes work, he would come back to the room, okay? That's fine, as long as you both agree. That's where you come in, okay? Um, I'll talk to him. But when he's driving you to school, you also tell him about it. You beg him or tell him I'm begging, not, not just say it like, mommy is begging you to move to the other room, <laughs> <laughs> you know? All right. Okay. okay. So just tell him, all right? Okay. Yeah, that's my girl. The cleanest girl in her school. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> We're ready to roll. Stop now. Why are you talking like this? Uh, okay, okay, okay. Just give me a few, some t just give me some time, please. He has refused to sign the divorce papers. And you know, I can't live without him signing them. You of all people should know this. Okay, I'll do everything I can to make him sign it, okay? Oh, come on. I also want to be with you. <laughs> okay. Don't worry. <laughs> All right, we'll be together soon, okay? <laughs> All right, darling. Okay. <laughs> So, when are you moving out of the room? Mom says you always disturb her with late night calls and work. And she thinks you can move out of the room. And whenever you are done, you can come back in. Uh, maybe today. Because I notice she's always uncomfortable. So, I might just adjust by moving out today partially. Yes, partially. But what's the extra work hours about? Well, my company just recruited a lot of online marketers in America. And you know, because of the time difference, 
I usually communicate with them at night here, which is day over there. Oh, okay. Well, I hope you get extra pay for that extra work. <laughs> you trust your daddy now. <laughs> <laughs> A daughter. Oh, he's moving out. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> okay, okay. Yes, uh, what are you doing here? Why have you refused to sign the damn divorce papers? Well, I do believe your client should explain to you better. Besides, it's wrong for you to be confronting me with this. Because you know the crime you are committing. What crime? You have kidnapped my client? You kept her in your house against a wish? I could sue you for coercion and extortion. Extortion? Okay, what did she say I extorted from her? Her emotions. She doesn't want you anymore, but you blackmail her into staying. That is you extorting her emotionally. You know what, Mr. Lawyer? I think you're being way too passionate about this divorce. But if you do not want me to behead you, get out of my house. Frege, open that gate. Let this man leave this place. Okay. Nonsense. Okay. Open the gate for that fool. And make sure you don't let him into this house when he comes again. I said don't open the door for him. Let him come into this house again. What rubbish. I should have allowed my girlfriend Esther to continue her relationship with Pascal. They could have made a better couple, but I thought snatching him from Esther would make me happy. Now I am married to him, but I can't find happiness. I need to end this marriage. We are my things. Oh, you moved. I mean, I helped you move your things to the other room, so can go there. And don't worry, I, mean, I was very careful in packing your things, especially those you dirty young WS, okay? By the way, what did you tell that that lawyer of yours, Timothy? Nothing. I have not seen him in a while. He was here. I just spoke with him outside. What did he say? That guy is way too interested in this divorce. He's simply doing his job as my lawyer. Well, forcing and trying to persuade me with threats is not part of his job as your lawyer. Okay, just come and I'll talk to him. I mean, you shouldn't just go and spot things for us around here. I'll talk to him. Well, just so you know, Ichala saw him. But I don't think she knows him. I'll talk to him. I'll talk to him. Go. I mean, go to your room. I have to go my own way. I need to be happy. And I want my daughter. Every day there's always something that you have to say about my life. You never bother if I'm going. Well, she insisted on leaving, which of course is not a bad thing. Good riddance to bad rubbish. No, I wouldn't beg her. Okay, yes, I begged her and I explained things to her, but she wouldn't listen. She doesn't want to believe me. She thinks otherwise. Uh, so if she wants to leave, if that would make her happy, let her leave. <laughs> My dear, enough about her. So how are you doing? Really? <laughs> okay. Now this kind of thing is spoiled the society. You should keep your distance for now. No way. I want you with me forever. I want to make you my wife. 
I know, but we have a plan. We don't want each other to know we're getting a divorce. Let the girl stay with her father. I will get you pregnant and you can have more children for us. She's mine. And I want her to be around me, especially now that she's at the peak as a grown girl child. Oh, I need her to be with me. But I need you to be with me too. <laughs> okay. Okay, fine. Whatever you do, please don't mess things up for me. Please. We just have to be careful. All right? I will marry you regardless. But we have to be careful. All right? Okay. Okay. Auntie Essie! Auntie Essie! Ah, ah, eh, Tito! Is what Tito? Anyone, anyone, oh, join, eh? Good day. Good day, welcome. Ah, ah. See how you fine, fresh, <laughs> eh? Never see tell me so when they use you. Just follow come on. Now, Gabi. Ah, serious one. Let it go up there. Mona, go rest. They make her prepare special delicacy for now. You understand? Uh, okay. Yeah, uh, this time. Yo! Yeah, oh. Fine game. See, I just want picking fine, fresh, be like India. Hey! <laughs> All right, so should we begin our homework? Which homework? I'm hungry, Jerry. I'm staying over for the weekend. Utito, <laughs> that one cannot work. Uh, why? It's a very long story. Just don't bother coming. I'll explain later. Okay, I understand. Besides, I don't have your soup. <laughs> <laughs> Now where don't you eh? Nah, but I ask for food now. Calm down, Tito. Just calm down. Eh? I'll come with the food. Relax, relax. Mm. Tito, you better be careful. Oh. You know this is not your house. Then yeah, get out. <laughs> okay. No, you shouldn't on that thing you're drinking. This is all this. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Hello. Yes, good day, sir. The DNA result is out and Ichala is your match. Yes, that, that, that's good news. Yes, that's, that's awesome news, doctor. Uh, please, can you, can you repeat yourself again? Eno, come on, listen to this. The DNA result is out and Ichala is your match. So that means Ichala is your biological daughter. Uh, yeah, um, please, doctor, can you send a copy to my wife? I would send you her email address right now. Okay, sir. I'll email the result to you soon. All right. All right, sir. <laughs> ah, she's my daughter. Thank you. Mm. Hey, baby. Hey, sweetie. <laughs> I'm driving you to school today. My car is packed oh, right no, no, outside. No, your daddy is taking you to school. What is your problem? What if you should just leave me alone? Ichala. Ichala. It, it's all your fault. How is it my fault? Oh, so all of a sudden you're no longer required to be in the office for 7 a.m. Now you have time to drive her to school, right? Oh, please. Are you the one who used to take her to school before? Was it not her school bus? Well, I decided to start driving her because I care. Oh, really? But you, all you do is really call me over my own child. She is my child too. God. God, how did I end up with an idiot like this? Ichala. 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 It's always something that you have to say about my life. You never... Can be two points too. I beg you. I wish I level with that one. Yes. Mm -hmm. But what didn't really happen exactly. Why you they ask me that matter? Now you the inside us. How I won't take no. Eh? We'll leave that matter first. We'll enter with insidious. <laughs> Why do you always do your body like this? Eh? Why do you always behave like behave like who not wear so? What's the like 
Oh, say they okay. Be like say this. Like you know for who? They don't divorce. See, but what did really happen exactly? You, you, you see, eh? If you ask me that question, now who I go ask? Eh, but, but based on the way what I think is see things, Phoebe say oh God, they won't try to impress the girl. No, nah, haba. Hm. Me I go call mama. Oh. Hey, 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 hey. What you concern you, Mama? Eh? Right from time, I know say your department in the kitchen. What you concern you, Mama? See, come. Before you start connect yourself to Mama, make we start our own production. I wait to make me come here, God said. If not play, just stop her. Eh? Obulu kwang pari kusia. Are you serious? You just say, Milaza, they toast you now. Nah, I see they look, you know, Milaza, they toast you. You see, you, eh? If I eh? never starve you for this house, you know, go get sense. To be full of shun. I can't go a beg. Get out. I go, go shun. I go shun for you. Yeah. Come go a beg. I go shun. Get out, get out, get out, I beg. Ah! Which kind of will be this one now? See, I get plans for you. <laughs> for you, never. To give the love that I don't know how to give. To live the life that I wish I never lived, oh. Every day is always something that you have to say about me. Um, do you want anything to drink, ma? No, please. Just tell your parents I want to speak with them. Okay, ma. Oh, uh, what about me? Won't you offer me anything? Who are you? <laughs> Otito? What's in her room for me? Okay, mom. Pascal and I know. This is not the way to go about this. Fighting over her and she knows. Or do you think she doesn't know there is a silent war going on here because of her? What is this competition about, Safe? Who will take her to school and pick her up? Oh, no. Doing this, you're spoiling her the more. Lavishing money just to impress her and become the best caring partner. That's wrong. Children are a waste matter than we think. See, if you make your partner look bad to her, she won't even trust you. Next time this happens, I will react. I will react though. She's my daughter's best friend, and that makes her my daughter. And I will do whatever it takes to protect her sanity. Have a good day. Otito! Oh, Tito? Let's go, please. I love you, and you love me. I know nobody good at <sighs> Thank you for reaching out. I truly appreciate. Thank you so much. OK, well, I just said, let me tell you. Please talk to them, ma. Talk to them. Because I won't allow them to spoil each other for me, please. It's okay, I'll handle it. Yeah, I will. All right, ma. Okay, bye, ma. Bye, ma. All right, bye. Love that I don't know how to give. You're pushing me to live the life that I wish I never lived. Oh. Ichala, you summoned us here for a family meeting. Yes, I did. Don't worry, it'll be brief. Okay, shoot. <clears throat> It's simple. I just want to let you guys know that I know you obviously don't love yourselves anymore. And I know you lied about the room. And I know that you also want to get a divorce, which is fine. I accept in good faith. But I just want to let you know that whatever the court rules won't work with me because I won't live with either of you. Yes, in fact, I'll move in with Eru. Eru Mena? Yes, my godmother. Have a nice day. Why, why you do mena? You're pushing me oh, to do the things I 
said I'll never do. You're pushing me to give the love that I don't know how to give. You're pushing me to live the life that I wish I never lived. Oh, why are you pushing me? Every day there's always something that you have to say. About my life, you never bother if I'm going left or right. And you never want to know if it's good for me, oh. So I'm going hellwire because of the pressure of my family. Oh, to do the things I said I'll never do. You're pushing me. To give the love that I don't know how to give. You're pushing me. To live the life that I wish I never lived. Oh, why are you pushing me? Now this kind of thing, they spoil the society. Make you open your eyes and stop. Hey, baby. Right. <laughs> okay, okay, just take it easy. Hello, my <clears throat> You will turn back and leave my house. Leave my and daughter also and... also leave your husband, right? Leave my husband. Oh, please. I know. What is your problem? Why do you hate me so much? Aside accusing me of dating your husband, what else do you have against me? No. Aside that, he took money from our joint account to fund your stupid NGO. And this is your lavish lifestyle. Pascal is not the only donor I have. Mm? What is all this? You've heard her. It's just a simple, harmless donation to support a worthy cause. Liars. Liars! I know you two are lovers. Isn't that how you deceived me into making her each other's godmother? You know what I know? The higher time you stop being paranoid, the better it is for everyone. Hi, Ero. Hi, bestie. Welcome. Please, can I sit? Uh, what is your problem? Uh. Stop it. It's not good for you. Free yourself. When are you leaving? When I'm done with my exams, I'll be moving into our house. Right, Godmother? Yes, baby. That's the plan. Mm -hmm. That's the plan? So what happens to us, Ichala? You are ditching your parents. You both are at loggerheads. No one is choosing her over you. Besides, I need to leave you guys so you can make up your minds. Erumina, you will leave my house and please do not come back again. If you think about what you do properly, I don't think we'll be having this discussion. Please don't insult me in the presence of oh, my family. Please. This is not an insult. Table manners, please. Don't talk while eating. You do realize we're still married. Now, despite our differences, I do not think going on dates is a good thing. What do you care? You have your childhood friend in the house. You can as well sneak her into your room and... And what? Huh? We just grew up and smelled a damn coffee, you know? Erumina and I have never been lovers. That's none of my business. I don't care anymore. Do whatever you want to do with her. It's not my business. Don't know how to give. You're pushing me 
to live the life that I wish I never lived. Oh. So I'll be going with you. If you want to. I just want to go and give them their last warning. Me too. I want to tell them my peace of mind. They can't come and mess her life up. I, I can imagine what Ichala is going through right now. Knowing fully well that both father and mother does not want each other anymore. It means there is no love. And growing up in such an environment is hell. Grandma, have you been to hell before? I will slap you if you make this sound funny. Teresa, have you been to hell? Get out! Oh, yeah. Leave your house! Look at her. Stupid girl. Everything you stop playing with it. Now this kind of thing is spoil the society. Make you open your eyes and stop this love for money. I wish we oh, what are you doing? This is the day I've waited for all my life. And I don't want to waste one more minute. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Once your husband signs the divorce papers, hold on to my ring. As soon as he signs, we get married immediately. Please, will you be my wife once you're divorced? When I sign my divorce paper, yes, I will be your wife. <laughs> You've made me a really, really happy man today. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Cheers. So, are you my dad's lover? And how much does he lavish on you? <laughs> I don't have anything with your father. He's not my lover. Listen. We grew up as childhood friends. Childhood friends, not childhood lovers. And he didn't lavish any money on me except the one he donated uh, for my NGO. Hmm? And wait, let me break it down. My NGO, what we do is that we go out to the street. You know, you, you, you see all those hawkers, all those girls hawking things, the ones that are not in school. We reach out to them, you know. We bring them home, give them shelter, provide food for them, put them back to school. That is what we do. And the girl child, we provide them with sanitary pads to curb um, period poverty. What is period poverty? Okay, period poverty is a girl's inability to provide the basic needs when she's um, like menstruating. Wait a minute, so there are parents and girls who cannot afford sanitary pads? Very sad, but true. It's, it's a major problem that most, you know, poor girls are facing out there. So your father donated as a family. That means your name, your mother's name, and his name is there. Mm. I have the record. Do you want to see? I see, wait, let me show you so you can see for yourself. Let me show you. See, look at this. See the record now. Oh, wow. So my dad donated on behalf of himself, my mom and I. Yes. As one family. Yes. <sighs> you have seen it. But my mom thinks otherwise. How will she believe this? I have tried to explain to her several times, but she still doubts me. Hmm. Why? I don't know. There's, there's this thing about we women, you know? Women don't trust each other when a man is involved. But God will bear me witness that I'm innocent of her accusations. I've never gotten intimate with your, with your father. I, I can't even think. I can't think of that. I can't, I, I wouldn't do it. You know why? Because your father, we grew up together. He's like my own brother. So I can't even do something like that with him. Ah. 
Hello, my wife in a few weeks. Look, I'm, I'll be meeting with the wedding planner tomorrow. And guess what? The whole bar association will be attending our wedding. There will be no wedding. What? What are you talking about? Look, I'll send your ring back to you through a dispatch rider. I'm sorry. Everything is a lie. Everything. Please st stop calling me, please. Please. Hello? Hello? What happened? I was this close! Ugh. It's not going through. Says. There's no need for all this drama. You're already with another man, right? How did you know? Oh. Well, for your information, I had you followed. He even proposed. I'm sorry. But I'm choosing you over him. I just realized that, that I've been acting based on lies. He came up with facts showing that you have been transferring money to a Rose NGO. And he also said that you, that you won't have been lovers. <laughs> he said you, you married me because of my father's words. I did. I'm sorry. Mm. And so he, he engineered you to file for a divorce. And then he seduced you and promised you that he loves you and that he wants to be with you forever. Then finally he proposed. And how could you do this to me? Even having a beautiful child together, you did this to me. It was just a mistake I had. Please forgive me. Please. I am so, so disappointed in you. Maybe. Maybe I'm so. Babe. Are you done kissing my dad? Excuse me, you mean my husband? This is my wife, you know. I see. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Love birds. Thank you. Mm. Ah, Mama. Ah, Mommy. Mommy, welcome. 
É que ramo eu. Ela é o cão. É. Is the divorce papers your bonnie? Mama, your guess is right. Because there is no more divorce. And this time around, it's for real. Wow! Thank you, man. So I want to just wait. Now, please. Please let me kiss my husband. Hey! Again, no! Hey! 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 Please, can you now apologize to me? Oh, shit, say apologize for me, please. Now that everyone is here. <laughs> Ma, we distributed 2,000 sanitary pads to the senior students, Government Girls College, and another 1,000 to the junior student, making 3,000. And a new donor brought in more parts, okay. but they are requesting we mention their name as a donor. Mention their names? Yes, ma'am. No, now, you know how we run this organization? This is a non-profitable charity organization, and we won't be cajoled into advertising anybody that wants to show off. Please, please, what did I say? That you should what? Decline the offer. The offer. Good. Right, thank you, ma. And ma... Dr. Paul brought the promise check. He's donating 100 oh! million oh! to the foundation. Oh, wow. 100 million. Yes, ma. He said it and he did it. Yes. Oh, Dr. Paul. What can I do without him? <laughs> wow, he has been there for us. Yes. May God bless him. Amen. May God continue to prosper him. Amen. May God continue to reward him. Amen. Oh, I need to give him a call right away. Every day there's always something that you have to say about my life. You never bother if I'm going left or right. And you never want to know if it's good for me. Oh. So I'm going hellwire because of the pressure of my family. Oh, to do the things I said I'll never do. Me to give the love that I don't know how to give. You're pushing me to live the life that I wish I never lived. Oh, why are you pushing me? Now this kind of thing they spoil the society. Make you open your eyes and stop this love for money. I wish we can take love as it is. If I love you and you love me, I know nobody could have push, push me. Oh, to do the things I said I'll never do. You're pushing me to give the love that I don't know how to give. You're pushing me to live the life that I wish I never lived. No.